So you know, they're very large distribution companies. So if you look at the trade, uh, in terms of inventory optimization, because in this quarter is when the season picks up. When I say season, it's the winter season. That's when it picks up. So as far as the trade was concerned, they stocked up quite a bit for the pre-season sales. So that's one initial factor. And then came the main reason, which is the delayed onset of winter, right, so of the winter season. So the, it was postponed by a month. It actually was, was a month late. So this, again, you can verify independently from if you just go on to some of these weather channels, you can clearly see that this is the situation. When I talked about the inventory distribution, the importance of that is because of the pre-season stocking, plus then the winter gets delayed, what we found is there is a little bit of a liquidity crunch from the trade, which has happened. And we've always maintained that when it comes to receivables, when it comes to how we have credit terms with the distributors, we are extremely cautious, conservative in our approach. You know, specifically to Russia, just so that you, you get the point here, in the month of January, we have a 50% growth, 5-0. That's, that's why I'm not concerned about you know, growth in Russia. I'm just trying to say that this is an aberration, what happened in the quarter. And then OTC, this is how we have grown, because we've always said that we have invested into OTC quite uh, aggressively. And this is the result that you see. In FI10, we talked about saying that we're investing into OTC. So 228 crores in uh, FI11. In the first nine months itself, we have clocked 237 crores. Right? So OTC is doing very well. So let me move on to India, because this was one of the uh, markets which had uh, lower growth in the past. So I think I also highlighted you in the media event that we conducted also, where most of you were present, that we had taken a lot of steps. But I also, again, said that the Q3 won't be the uh, quarter by which we will say that everything has been achieved. Right? So I would rather wait for the Q4. But good thing is, if you actually see the growth is in double digits, lower double digits, but at least 11% compared to the single digit growth the, that we had in the past. So this is in spite of the low sales recorded generally in the market itself for the month of October. right? So that's, a, that's also something you would have noticed. In spite of all that, I think we still clocked 11%, which I think is a decent uh, start in, in the whole plan that we have in terms of turning around the business. This remains a high priority market for us still. right? So this is something which is uh, absolutely there for us. And uh, moving on to... Uh, I think the launch is about six products we had launched. And this is the growth trend I was talking about, right? It was in single digits in the past. It's now reached about 11%. Talking about Europe again, uh, you're quite familiar with uh, the Germany story. It's, it's just a flat growth. We had declines in the past few uh, quarters, but it's just about a flat growth. And rest of the Europe, it, there were a lot of new products launched in uh, Italy, although on a small scale, but this is what has happened in Europe. Pharmaceutical services and uh, active ingredients. So in this, the API business, the sales were somewhat flat, right? So this again is more to do with deferred sales because if you see our order books, they're looking really good. And also in this, in this generally in this kind of a business, the still sales somewhat tend to be staggered. So it, you won't always see a consistent growth quarter to quarter. But in this particular quarter, it's somewhat of a flattish, but all that will be made up in the next quarter. So some other updates before I conclude. Uh, as far as the capex is concerned, I mean, I think consolidated figure makes sense. For the first nine months, it's about 497 crores or $94 million. Uh, we've indicated that the spend will be anywhere in the range of 100 to 150. So I think for the full year, so we are somewhere in that range, you know, because $94 million has already been spent. Uh, an update on the Mexico facility, because this is still waiting for that reinspection uh, to be done. Uh, we still don't have a date yet. Right, so that's, that's something we're still waiting for. As far as the outlook is concerned, in the short term again, uh, at least like I said, in the beginning itself, there are key launches still uh, slated over the next six months for the US market, uh, which again are quite significant for us. And this SEZ, because all this investment, significant part of it is in the SEZ, the, the formulations part of it, uh, one portion of it will start sometime in uh, 2012, probably August, September. That's the time that we expect that uh, 